Welcome back. You're watching Hot Stocks on ET Now. Well, let's connect with the management then of Godrej Consumer Products. Joining in right now on the show, we've got with us Vivek Gambhir, who's the managing director. Thanks so much for being with us, Mr. Gambhir. To start off with, what were your key takeaways from the union budget this time? Were you happy with the announcements made? Yeah, good morning, uh, Tamia. Uh, it was a very responsible and uh, progressive budget. I think the finance minister did a very good job in trying to check off as many boxes as he could. I think uh, I heard someone mention that this is more of a test match budget and not a T20 uh, budget, but it fundamentally sets India on a much stronger trajectory going forward. Okay, and for the consumer sector in specific, Mr. Gambhir, any big takeaways from the budget? I think one of the biggest takeaways from this budget was a definitive timeline for the implementation of a GST. If the government can stick to the timeline and ensure speedy implementation by April 1st of 2016, that will give a tremendous boost to the economy. And the Prime Minister has also assured an 8% plus GDP growth uh, next year. If that growth materializes, it will lead to more income and more income will lead to better consumption and therefore, therefore better growth for the FMCG sector. Now, yesterday, the, uh, you know, the markets were taken by surprise with the rate cut by the RBI. Are you looking at this measure as a general positive for the economic environment and the consumer space in specific? Absolutely. You know, the reduction in rates yesterday will mean lower EMIs for uh, consumers. So for a consumer who has an approximately 50 lakh loan, it will mean about 900 rupees less of EMI every month. And along with uh, tapering inflation, some lowering in crude oil prices over the last one year, all of this means more income in the hands of consumers, which should hopefully kickstart consumption once again. Okay, and uh, Godrej Consumer is planning to hive off India unit and plans to double sales uh, to rupees 10,000 crore rupees by 2020. Can you give us more details on the same? See, we are not planning to hive off the India business. What we are doing is we have a clustering approach where in our international business we have three clusters. We are adopting the same clustering approach for our India business to drive greater accountability and make us more agile along with deepening our talent bench strength. As a consequence of that, we are targeting about an 18% growth year each year for the next five years, which will enable us to double revenues. Hmm. And Gojraj has recently raised its stake in the Darling Group to 90%. What are the plans for this venture? We view Africa to be a game-changing opportunity for us. The opportunity in the categories that we participate in and some of the newer categories is absolute, absolutely huge for us. So part of increasing the stake in the Darling uh, joint venture is to eventually take over the business over the next two or three years. This is part of a phased approach where we are learning the geographies. Once we learn the geographies, we up our stake. And over time, we will also add new categories and hopefully newer acquisitions in the mix as well. Yeah, and finally, do you see a revival in demand for India in the next six months? Absolutely, absolutely. I think our expectation is that FMCG growth for this year will end up at around 8%. Our hope is that next year, we will see double-digit growth, around 10 to 11 percent double-digit growth. And certainly our intent uh, for GCPL is to grow much ahead of the market growth. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for taking time out and joining in, giving us your views on what you made of the budget, as well as the prospects for Godrej Consumer going forward. Okay, the stock right now, it's a little bit muted in trades, just like the Frontline Index 89.